You know this power music's uh, the trade of a good stream. Hope you guys are ready to see some cyberspace. Very soon. I'm building the suspenso. <laughs> We're on. Hey, everybody. Ho hope you're doing swell on this Monday. This is I, your host, Dan, the man with cyberspace. And I'm joined by Carly. Yeah, it's me. I'm here. How are you doing? Pretty good. Oh, man, I just love cyberspace so much. So I'm excited. <laughs> we have had quite a... Uh, Quite a thing going on with cyberspace. It's been it's been one heck of a process, but we've got there. And I today, I'm going to give you guys a uh, bit of a uh, sneak peek on things. So uh, if you don't want spoilers, turn right round and you can <laughs> go, I guess. But uh, if you want to see the good stuff, you're in the right place. So yeah. Um, we've solidified a look to cyberspace. Um, you'll see pretty much all of it as I go through and build stuff. It has some extra things to it. This is the medical cyberspace level. It's had a bit of a bit of an upgrade since you may have last remembered seeing it. Oh, I'm the best at NDS. Oh, thank you so much, Arif, for all one. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Also, 24-month streak of Sir Kane subscribed to us. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up for the money laundering. That's <laughs> what other people would call it, but I won't. Thank you very much, Sir Kane. Yeah, I will probably play it in a bit, uh, Gaminator, yes. But uh, oh, it's a bit hard to see, actually, uh, when it's lit. <clears throat> but yeah, this is... This is the medical cyberspace area. This is what it's going to look going to look like. Um, still working on things, building stuff out, trying things, um, but we're getting there. You're going to see some pretty maybe mind-bending things as I build things. You're going to think, why? Why is he building it that way and stuff like that? It's because we've got a six degree of freedom thing going on. It's a completely different kind of game really to what the what system shock actually is you've got system shock and then you've got cyberspace which is you know it's essentially a series of tubes yes but it's just um yeah it's looking really cool though there are some bits that aren't quite finished yet um or they need work on we're gonna get there eventually but uh, i asked our lead um artist if she could you know, get get this stuff in before, like, this stuff went in maybe literally half an hour before I went live. So you're looking at cutting edge stuff here, people. Down to the wire. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But it's all cool. So this is what it's going to, uh, going to eventually look like. And uh, when unlit, it <laughs> looks very grey. And you'll, you'll probably see some things floating around. You'll see some temp stuff. You'll see some labels. Um, I'll explain things as we're kind of going along, but uh, I'll give you a starting run <clears throat> of cyberspace. So if you remember the um, the original, the original version had very sort of simple -ish shapes to rooms and things. I've kind of gone a different direction. This is kind of all me deciding this stuff and it's still been worked on, but uh, oh my goodness. Oh, Sir Kane, you 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 are generous. It's great, great space. Yes. Oh, you got an emote. Thanks, Sir Kane. Oh my God, I can't press that thank button quick enough. Uh, uh, I guess Don't I. Don't worry, I got it. Ah, I can't press it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, cyberspace. You've got the, you've got the rotates and you've got the, flying around, and. We've got your push pulls, so both hands, no hands, folks. Mm. 
I will drink water like a ventriloquist to show you that there are no hands involved. <laughs> so trippy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Man, this is gonna hit me the same way Forsaken did. <laughs> I love it. It's it's beautiful at least. Yeah. So yeah, this was one big empty room in the original, but I decided, you know what, to emphasize the six degree of freedom thing, what can I do to really sort of tell the player, hey, you can go in any direction. You can, you really can, you know, go this way if you want, or you can rotate and go this way. Is this the ceiling? Is this the floor? I don't know anymore. But it doesn't really matter in cyberspace. That's what I'm trying to kind of get across to the player. So, um, yeah, you can see things off in the distance. And I've got some subtle things in there for the player that they might pick up, like, this is an arrow. You might remember them from the original game. <clears throat> Many arrows telling you where to go. This time, I've sort of subtly built them into the level to sort of... So the player might not see it, but it does kind of feel like it's pointing in a direction. So you don't want to really sort of tell the player, go this way with a big arrow. But you just want to kind of gently coax them. That's the way of doing it, I guess. And uh, just to make things a bit more interesting, this isn't the final movement, by the way. It's probably going to get sped up, tweaked as we kind of go on. But I've got some uh, new areas in the works. This is this is an area that's currently being worked on. It's um, being kind of rebuilt. Just some feedback I got. We can go up. And... Uh, Right around, you can see bits of exterior cyberspace as you move through. And this will this area will be full of, you know, combat and all that kind of stuff. So just getting some interesting, <clears throat> excuse me, shapes in there as well, just to kind of figure out what we can, what I can do with this space overall. So yeah, there'll be the game of life does work. We've tested it, so um, I'll be showing that when it goes through uh, a kind of a bug pass. Because uh, right now it's currently crashing the editor <laughs> when we do it. So I would have loved to have shown you it, but literally with this update being on the you know breaking of art styles and stuff when you're on the bleeding edge sometimes things kind of break and that was one of them but i will show it if it does get fixed in this stream later on so i'm just going to continue what i was doing and as i'm going through i'll show I'll explain some things so we still have a grid system in place <coughs> for safe space um and the game of life works off that so when these levels are voxelized, the game essentially works out where all the surfaces are and it um, will attach the game of life to that surface. So it just works, really. Um, it'll work on any angle surface, um, go between uh, surface blocks as well. So it'll do a full, it'll go, if you would start there, it, it would go all the way around, possibly down this pillar, if you did it right. Uh, oh, game, do you want to explain the game of life to people? I was just about to, yeah. So Con oh, it, okay. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool. So game of life, Conway's game of life. In the original game, when you shoot the tiles, they, uh, it's on Google, uh, not Google, it's on um, Wikipedia. If you do a, go, uh, do a Google search for Conway's Game of Life, uh, you'll see how it works. Um, but it is essentially a self-perpetual uh, system that uh, was built into the original game. And when you shoot the tiles, it changes the Game of Life pattern. So it will go off in different directions and different shapes and all that stuff. That's still in here now. I just can't show it to you because it crashes the engine right now but like i say if it gets fixed during this stream then i will pull the latest from our repo and i will show you so that's really where we're kind of up to right now um this 
whole entire level is playable from start to finish. Um, just getting this new area built. Then it'll be for me to go to this end room and flesh that out. Make it a bit more interesting. Maybe make some extra areas. It depends on how much time I have because we have um, time restrictions for reasons I'm not sure I can go into. Um, if Carly says otherwise, then we can explain why. <laughs> but oh, I'm sorry, I was typing real quick. Uh, for the time for the time restrictions I have on cyberspace. Oh. For, yeah, for building stuff. I so see. yeah, so yeah, there, there's a there's a reason for it, but it'll be cool. So you guys are getting a sneak peek of things, but this is where I'm at currently. This is all kind of my um, design work right now, I guess. And so far, people seem happy with it. Um, I'm super nervous as to whether it's um, <laughs> fun or not. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll keep going. So um, I will show you actually how um, we calculate the game of life. If I just open up our <clears throat> voxel voxelized tool, there we go. Voxelized cyber levels. So all I do, if there are no holes in the geometry, if there are, I'll, I'll go and fix them. There may be because I was fleshing some stuff out, but we'll see. Yeah, there is a hole, so I need to find that. Just look for a big red light, red, big red line. So it's there. Ooh, okay. I'm just sort that out real quick. One thing I do have to make sure is I have to make sure everything is perfectly aligned to the grid, like perfectly. Like even even the smallest of um, fault lines can make a big difference. So, uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's coming along. Wow, lots of people talking in the chat. I mean, oh, will it be more psychedelic in the end? Um, there's still effects to be added um, and things like that. So this isn't the final, final look, but it's very close. Uh, if you guys have questions, be sure to tag uh, Night Dive Studios with them so I can not miss them. Because <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it can be easy to miss, especially when I've got one eye over here and the stream's kind of over there when I'm kind of concentrating. But uh, we'll get to what we can. People uh, will definitely be seeing more uh, cyberspace stuff next month, too. All right. As well as um, I should have the Kickstarter update out tomorrow, which will have some other stuff. Yeah. It's a chock full episode <clears throat> this time uh, for our update. So I'm looking forward to seeing it, even though I know what's in it. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to seeing it. Oh, um, oh, hey, Deep Chrome. Uh, make sure to tag us if you actually do have a question, or else it will totally, I won't notice it because of chit chat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me try again. Ah, there's still a hole somewhere. Maybe if I just move that there. Probably another one somewhere that I can't see. <clears throat> Never mind. Um, so right now, I need to connect. I built this corridor out. I built that area. They're all going to kind of link together, but I just need to build the uh, conjoining room now. I've kind of worked all the math out in my head, <laughs> so it should all line up. But we'll see. It's very easy to make changes and stuff, so. Yeah, Deep Chrome, this is cutting edge art stuff. This went in, in literally 35 minutes ago. 
uh, changing from the temp stuff that we had. I know it's changed a bit since you might have last seen it, but that's the artistic you know, process. That's just how it goes. Right, so this was just a temporary kind of uh, stopping point. So I can start getting rid of these. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see, because it, it works like the old, it, it works like the tile sets that you've seen before us build the levels out of. Um, someone's asking, will this be added to the demo that is available? Um, I know we're discussing that right now. Um, I'm not positive how we're gonna handle demo updates like this in the future, so it's to, to be determined. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, tech under the hood that's come online and reverting those changes back now to make a demo might be difficult. We don't know. It's, um, we'll see what we can do, but once you make those big changes, those big changes tend to be permanent and they don't get, um, they don't get reverted because that, not only does that slow our overall process down, it really does take up a big chunk of programmer time. Um, we don't want that, really. So, yeah. I'm positive we will have some sort of uh, big update for a quote-unquote demo in the future because we did promise a beta, but that will probably end up being much more down the line. Yes. But it, it, like I said, it can change. Don't. This is not a quotable answer because we could literally just change our minds, which we always do on random <laughs> things, it seems like. <laughs> it, literally on a week by week basis, depending on how stuff goes. Like it, it, Sometimes some... we get excited. Yep, it, it really does happen like that, guys. It's a week can make a big difference when it comes to, you know, scheduling and working stuff out. So, yeah. What about the release date? Uh, we can't talk about that yet. Oh yeah, I we're not gonna say any release date until we have like a firm release date. And just as a reminder, Oops. release dates have more than just the game being finished, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if I can describe that right. <clears throat> well the game could be yeah. finished and we would still need to do other things to release it. So until we can get a firm date, I don't wanna say anything. Yeah. There's stuff like marketing. You've got to plan marketing around stuff. Yeah, so, there, there's so much, so many elements, mm -hmm. but trust me, you guys will be first to know once I actually have a date. Yeah, it's always an evolving process, and because this is technically our first home, not homemade, <laughs> well actually, yeah, technically homemade. It is kind of <laughs> homemade, you're in your home. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is our first thing, you know, there's a lot of hurdles we need to work out for ourselves you know we've got past experience from other places some people do but we have to work this out for ourselves and not not easy so we'll, we'll get there but we've got to be careful i guess it does help that everyone gets to see the progress and play the demo mm -hmm. um which makes me happy that people get to see all the hard work very uh, much so yeah question from big fat frog someone asked earlier um, if cyberspace is all on one map like the original. It was at first. Um, I had things like finalized, like from a, a layout perspective. It was like, hey guys, here's lower cyberspace and here's upper cyberspace and the rest of it. But it turned out that because with, you know, technologies moved on, we're, we are not just showing a wireframe of this stuff. There are tiles, there are lights, there's draw distance to be taken into account. It's, it'll be tricked, we'll probably trick the player into, I'm doing a lot of air quotes today, I notice. Um, we'll probably trick the player to think that it is the same 
layout when it comes to some places, but it won't be all in the same map. Which it's for the best. it really is. Um, but we'll do our best to make sure that the layout is fine. I mean, it's all there uh, in another map um, that I've already laid out, so it's there. But I was asked um, by our programmer, hey, just separate them out. It makes life for everybody else a whole lot easier. So I do what I'm told. <laughs> and yeah. We, we definitely trust people that have their discipline down of what they're saying because they would know best. <laughs> I'm not um, going to be one to argue with our main programmer. <laughs> oh, no. I. No. So, like, I, I trust them for everything. Mm hmm. Um, question from Big Boy Two Thousand and Two. Uh, I really wanted to read the whole name. I mean, for some reason, when I was looking at it. Yeah. Um, is there going to be a difficulty level like the original? Yep. It'll probably affect how how the enemies hit, how fast they move, some other things. We need to work that out. But that's roughly what it's probably going to evolve into. So you might think that these tiles all look the same, but actually one of these tiles is actually incorrect. So like I mentioned earlier, um, it depends on which way they're facing in the transform gizmo. So this tile is currently correct. It's facing into the world. That tile is incorrect. It's technically facing the wrong way. I need to not only turn it around like that, but I need to flip it as well. They all need uh -huh. to be facing inwards, otherwise it won't work. Someone's asking a question that I find funny. It says, mm -hmm. what has it been like to work from home? Do you feel like your productivity has gone up or down? And this is funny because we've always worked from home. I've worked from home for the past eight years. It's not a problem for me. I've worked from home four plus now? Just over four? Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, seven asun nine seven. This is, yeah, the game streams are on weekends. This is a work stream. This is uh, a weekday thing. This is development of the system shock. Did I say 80 years? I'm sorry, 80 years. <laughs> it's, it's funny because we made the, like we made dev streams like a semi-regular thing for a while yeah. but then we also wanted to play games and hang out with the community so we just do both now yeah pretty much um uh what was i saying Ugh, i forgot now what i was saying um but uh yeah i don't know any different uh i've always worked from home and um i've sort of trained myself to have uh, self, what's the term? Self. Discipline? Yes, that's it. Yeah, you've got to be. Um, it's just I something I love I working have. from home personally. Yeah, um, it's quite, quite refreshing in a way. Like you can. Sometimes I wish we could all see each other like once a month. That'd be nice, yes, but uh, Stephen can't afford those plane tickets. He's, he's on his golden yacht. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we can use the yacht. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just like this canon that people have made that we have a yacht. It makes me laugh. Because I wish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I can cook, have a bit of wine maybe, and just sit down and do my work. And I'm totally fine. It's, you just have to work at it, I guess. It, it's, it's always dependent on circumstances, really not used to it then you don't know any better work from the yacht <laughs> the yacht better have good internet connection i i have so many questions lined up for you oh okay sorry I'll... i it just like we, we should chat and have fun and i'm like oh my god more questions <laughs> yeah we'll try and answer all the questions guys but if i get too involved in questions i don't end up getting any work done yeah so we need a little bit of patience, but we'll try our best. Yes. And Ooh, I, I, if thank I you. seem like I'm picking and choosing, it's because I'm just looking for the night type tag because there's so much chit chat. More of a room and cider. Oh, I love cider. I've got a. I've got like two cupboards full of cider. 
<laughs> in the kitchen. Uh, I went a bit overboard in shopping. Oops. You should make your own cider brand. I could. And get dragon ciders. Ooh, dragon, dragon cider. It's got a bite. <laughs> Whoa, you sound all like Shodan just took you over right now. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> Freak Callie out for a bit. Well, I don't know if everyone hears you the same way. I just Probably not. You, but it was really funny. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we have questions? Yeah, I'm scrolling back up to Watery Tart's question. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think the team behind the remake will move on to new projects after this? And if so, do you think you continue to stream like this? I can partially answer this, that if we do continue on to other projects, I would like us to continue streaming, but it's all based on the devs' comfortability about it. It's not our priority. It's just a fun bonus. Yeah. And hopefully we go on to more projects. I don't know what everyone's... Um, like plan is for aftershock but it would be cool yeah it's up to the individual pretty much yeah uh i am no not bad re ret meme remake no um yeah it's really just down to us i guess i'm comfortable also i'm gonna streams. rejoin our chat daniel because i'm disconnecting a lot okay yeah, we're chatting through uh, Discord right now, so... Uh... Right, I think this space is fine. Oops. This space looks fine. So what I do is I build the base space out first and then make it look pretty later. So this should... this fine. This, this lined up exactly how I kind of wanted it to, so... Um... I'm happy with that. Uh, <laughs> do you think Mark Plyer will play your game? I have no idea. Not sure. I would like everybody to play the game. If that isn't the biggest cop out of an answer. Hey. It wouldn't let me connect to the wish chat. Oh god. Sorry, it's, stuff. <laughs> it's okay. I also what as I looked at the chat, this was not a question that was like a tagged question. I just noticed it. It says, Do you think Markiplier will play your game? And I just thought of something really funny. Oh because I... um Miltz on the Kex team looks kind of like Markiplier to people. And I was <laughs> like, man, we had him pretending to be Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually did answer that question. I said, I would like it if everybody played our game. Yeah, I hope everyone plays it. And if they don't, we'll make them somehow. I will sick toothless on him. He's back there. He's ready to go. Ready. I should make my black cat Lobo uh, cosplays as toothless. Because <laughs> they, they make these little black bat wings for cats. <laughs> and that would make them look just like it. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Do it. If I do it, I'll send you pictures. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, this is, I don't, I, I missed so much from not being able to hear you, but RF401 asked questions like, uh, if you had an office, what would you put up in there? Poster games, old PCs. I feel like we would have like a little museum of everyone's favorite things, considering I think all of us collect stuff. Probably. I'd have, I'd probably have my original System Shock Rob Waters painting up in there. And I'd probably have to keep an eye on oh, it. Stop D from stealing it. Because <laughs> I know I want to, I'd be like, no, bad Put an alarm on it. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't have it. Um, they'll probably get Rob to re-sign it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that signature from 20-something years ago. Do you want to sign it again? That'd be cool. Just make it go up in value, mm -hmm. like, immensely. God, I remember I bought it for something like £150 back ages ago. On it was, He put it on eBay. And the shipping to me, I think, was... 
the, almost the same as the as oh the goodness. the picture itself. I probably made a lot of problems for him <laughs> to ship that out, but, but worth it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, Big Fat Frog asks, probably a small detail, but will there be an animation for when your character uses a cyberspace terminal? Yes. Planning that out. We don't have one yet, from what I know, but I can't imagine why we wouldn't. I've seen concepts. Okay, cool. We've... I was like, I'm sure we'll do that. We, we got you, fam. Is that still a term the kids use? Oops, oh god, I've flown away. Flown away, there we go. <laughs> Sir Kane asked, um, will cyberspace <laughs> integrate with my computer's RGB setup? That would be <laughs> next level really funny. That would. Isn't there a... If it's I think that is possible to do because we talked. Do you remember when we talked to um, Razor? I about was. The... Yes, I was going to bring up that very same thing, but I'll let you. I'll let you continue. We, we you had. Um, uh, I, I will only. And I don't mean to like interrupt, but no, no, it's okay. When we were um, at GDC two years ago now, man, God. time's crazy. Time. Wow. <laughs> Um, yeah. We we went to a uh, Razor's office for a meeting and to just like hang out, and they were showing us all the different possibilities to use their like their tech um, throughout. Not only just like the mouse, the keyboard, but like other like lighting stuff that they were making and how it would work with our games if we wanted to. So it's very possible. I don't. I don't know if we will, but it is certainly possible. I don't know if that stuff was under NDA. That stuff, no. That stuff's okay. already... Everything I said already exists. Woo! Good! Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> no, that was not an NDA item. Okay. Um, it's... They actually even just had an update um, to the Razer stuff. Um, I want to say it was like last week or the week before... Um, I don't remember. It was in this past month. I'm really losing track of time. Yeah. But this is all stuff that already exists and that they have. And a lot of streamers use it, too. Mm. Nice. I was thinking about getting a different chair. I would love some... I would love some recommendations. Uh, well, not an... Ab I'm just joking. <laughs> well, I don't know. But, like, uh, this chair... You know, it's... I've had it... It served me well, but I need a chair with... Probably better back support. So That's if you important. guys, yeah. So if you guys have any recommendations, I'd love to, I'd love to hear. Because I love my chair, but I honestly don't know the brand or anything. I just saw it at the store. Yeah. As it was the floor model, and I sat down in it, and it was so comfy. I instantly bought it, and I wheeled it out. <laughs> it was their only one. They didn't have any other but this floor model. Ah. Uh. But I've had it for a few years now, and one of the screws popped off on the armrest. So I have to be careful. Yeah, I hate that. I'll try to figure out what brand this is. Um, but I guess everyone in the stream chat and Link's channel on Discord post up your recommendations. Yeah, one with good back support and one that um, I guess is kind of breathable that'd be cool thank you asked, will it play the dial-up sound when you log into cyberspace <laughs> i should ask uh gary what kind of sounds he thinks would work uh for that because it it i thought of it as like more of a simple thing at first but it could be interesting to have a unique sound for the terminal uh yeah we can see. <clears throat> yeah, not as like I'm. When I say this, I'm saying it just from my perspective. I think it would be neat. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Someone said something that wasn't a question, and I'm gonna read it to you. Okay. It says hi, Mr. Spectre. You look different from the photos. Anyways, can I get a shout out for my cat's girlfriend's sister's birthday? 
Happy birthday to your girlfriend, Bad's sister, girlfriend, sister, 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 sister. Birthday. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, Buckshot Unicorn. <laughs> hey, Kevin. In chat, Kevin. <laughs> I don't know whatever if that was censored or if you just put star marks to troll me. <laughs> Kevin with his hair. Aha, he joined the chat. Ah, hey Kevin. Hey. How's it uh, going? There's a, a link. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I... I should just mod you. <laughs> mod him, we can make him better. Get rid of that stupid hair. He's now modded. I think mods can do links. You asked, you asked for a new chair, so... Oh, cool. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, just... <laughs> Yeah. Why there do I? Go. It's like a thousand five hundred dollars. Oh my god! I should mention that I do have at least a sensible budget. Not one that's uh, a sensible uh, fifteen hundred dollars. Depends on how comfy it is. It's got an enhanced gaming seat, cooling foam, posture fit, spinal support, back fit adjustment, even pressure distribution. It actually wow. looks really, really like nice, like for comfort. The looks are, it just looks like a standard chair. Ooh, there's an option you can see this photo during the day or photo at night, but it still looks like the daytime. My chair doesn't have RGB, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a plus in there if it's orange or has orange accents. That'd be nice. Oh yeah. I would need a green chair to match all of the green that I have going on with my computer. Oh, speaking of RGB lighting, um, I don't know how well this will come across on stream, but I got a bit exploratory the other day when I was in a shop and I got different colored lights on in the house now. Oh, you can't see them very well on the stream. Oh, shoot, oh. never mind. But I uh, got a remote that turns my lights in the ceiling red, green, and blue. I bought so, can't see wall very well strips now. with LED lights, but for some reason they won't turn on and I'm trying to reprogram the remote because it keeps messing with the TV. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> Why am I watching the blue channel? <laughs> hmm. Doesn't continue on. I'm waiting for some newer tiles to come online, so there may be some gaps, but I'm waiting on a kind of triangle piece to fit in here um, to kind of cleanly finish that off. But it's down the pipeline, so uh, I just temporarily kind of fill it in for now. It's looking pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, look at the chair circane linked. I swear to God, if it says bad rats on it, <laughs> <laughs> I will ban. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so extra. Wow. Woo. Nice. Oh, my God. It. You have to get a quote from them? Mm -hmm. This is already out of my budget. Oh my budget. god, it's already like $5,000 before I select things. I'll just buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just working my car. <laughs> or a house. USD, please. Oh no. Oh no. I like the cup holder. <laughs> it's a nice touch. 
it needs one of those like buckets of food like in the movie idiocracy that they just like oh yeah eat out of this my, is a mixture of wally -E versus idiocracy my friend i have a friend who really wants us to see that film it it is sort of a classic in its own way yeah it did get around seeing Hot Fuzz for the first time the other week. Oh, man. I will talk I about love that movie. That for movie. Five hours. It, yeah, yeah. Same. It, or it's like in I, I, I saw it once. It's already in my top ten films. Like it was Wait amazing. Till you watch it again, and you start noticing things that you never noticed before. Like all the different references, and oh man, it's yeah. just so good. The fact that when they say like, um, oh man. I'm drawing a blank. The greater good. Every time they say it, it's never said by itself. <laughs> Someone always repeats it. Mm -hmm. it's just the like the whole like movie is worth rewatching over and over again. I yeah. don't own very movies physically, but that is one of them. Yeah, I try to watch that movie like once a year. I think it might be streaming on Hulu. Maybe. If not, then it was Netflix. Worth Netflix watching, guys. Fun if you... fact. What'd you say? I'm um, sorry, there was a mumble. Sorry. What? What happened? Oh, so... I, I don't remember if who was talking, but I didn't hear it. I was, I was just about to say, uh, if you guys haven't seen Hot Fuzz, go see it. Good film. All right, Kevin, your turn. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I interrupted you. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dang it. Um, no, I'm sorry. We're all sorry. We're Canadian. Um, <laughs> so I uh, I was noticing that Netflix did that Wet Hot American Summer show, but uh, oh yeah, it, they are not streaming the movie anymore on Netflix. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That that show was really funny though. The movie's amazing. Like I haven't seen the movie in a movies. very long time. It's been a long, long time. I quote it way too much. Now I'm gonna rewatch the show. That was that was good. Yeah, the show's great. I love it when like the guy's doing donuts and he's like, "Look, it's Andy," <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I lo and then he's eating donuts next to the guy doing donuts. He's like, "I love yeah. eating donuts." <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, got any more questions coming in? Oh. Yeah, please tag Night Dive Studios so we can see your question. Yeah, if Herman Miller is listening, I would like to have one of your chairs. So is it cool if you <laughs> one? There it is. Send me free stuff. I've got this night dive jacket on just for the cool apparel look, but it's getting warm in here with it on. I might take it off. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> oh, wait, but it has your name on it, doesn't it? Uh, no. Oh, I thought it did. We need That'd to make really new funny. jackets for the team. I want us all to have, like, very triop uniform looking station jackets with our names and like the you know the logo and everything that'd, that'd be, be so cool. cool that'd be really cool um so questions i can read some questions to you now sure are the cyberspace enemy models done uh firewall security programs eyes etc um they are in our system somewhere. Um, as of right now, I'm saving them because I don't really want to kind of spoil things. So there's nothing in this map yet. There was one we were looking at before the stream that made me very excited. <laughs> but I'm not going to say any more. No. There's already I have been... some things as a surprise. Yeah, we can't spill the beans on everything, guys. <laughs> 
There's already been uh, some things that were just shown in cyberspace that are pretty cool. Just tease everyone the mostest. <laughs> <coughs> right, I have a hole somewhere that I need to find in this map. This is... Okay, Gaming Leader, this is a very ambiguous question that's also kind of ominous and scary for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you think things will go well for you? Um, in I regards don't know why to, it's so ominous sounding. In regards to life, I like to think so. I hope so. Yeah. Like, uh, staying healthy and staying hydrated, yeah. That's, that's the aim of the I've game right now. I've been hydrating all day. Okay. So we have, um, kind of like a center point for the color so these, these tiles they'll change color but it's based on a certain um entity in the world and uh as it's closer to it, it gets hot and as you sort of move away from it it gets colder and there'll be several of those <clears throat> throughout the level to uh vary up the color like this so it won't all be green I was working with the ten part, and it was all this color. I had like eye strain for about three days running, just because everything was so green. But uh, not anymore. Every time I see cyberspace now, it just gets like I just start playing like sandstorm in my head. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's not great. That's in my head. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Kevin. That's in my head, too. <laughs> no problem. Kevin. So, uh, I'll show you guys what happens when I voxelize the level. So, if I just close this off, this section is now technically closed off. So, if I hit voxelize current level, you'll see all these little blue kind of... I'm not sure what to call them. <clears throat> but uh, they're everywhere and they indicate that there's no holes in the world there's no problem overall with what's been built so when that doesn't generate that means there's a hole somewhere that you gotta go find so if I just close this off now um. I have to close this off Planet 23K says, will cyberspace be more complicated, meaning we'll have to stick to the original models? Uh, cyberspace will be more involved, yes. Um, sticking to the original models, do you mean the original models that were in the original game? I assume that's what they mean. Um, they're going to... Some enemies will be... I can't say much. Some enemies will be what you expect them to be. And others are going to be a bit different. But that's really all I can kind of go into at this point. So I'm just doing... At this stage in the development process. At this stage of the game, yes. There's never been a better time to play video games. <laughs> video games. <laughs> so I can see so far that this is all building. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm narrowing down the point where the uh, potential leak is. So I can delete those now. If I move um. on and go up here, if I close this area off, I'll be able to see if everything's fine. Sorry, you're going to say something. Do, are you ready for more questions? Is that a question? It's a question if you're ready for <laughs> questions. I'm ready for questions. <laughs> yes. Um, You just tell me when you're ready. You say, can I give me a question? Okay. I'm good, yes. Um, Deep Chrome's asking, what, was that grid design inspired by Chons, the grid like the OG devs pulled from inspiration from the movie? 
Um, I can't speak for our artists and what they um, had. I just kind of build the levels, but I think it was mentioned in the last meeting, actually, that someone said it looks very Tron, and somebody, one of our artists, did agree that that's what they were looking for, so. Uh, yes, it, it is, I would say so, yes, from my perspective. And then um, Shark of Goods asking a question that might, uh, I don't even know if I, I can answer because I don't even know if we've talked about it or not from my knowledge. Um, can a space minotaur attack you in cyberspace? <laughs> uh, only if you really, really, really annoy him and, cheese and, and steal, his, uh, steal his food. <laughs> oh, was that the hole? Yeah, there we go. So, found the hole. Now to plug said hole. And there could be multiple holes. You never know. Oh, that's what that was, right. Any more questions? Um, yes. Um, though it's unrelated to this, uh, it's a House Progress for System Shock 2 Enhanced Edition going. It's completely unrelated to what we're doing over here right now. That's a, the other team, the Kex team. Yes. And I, I can't really give any details. We're not really ready to say much at this time. But trust me, I will post everything I can as soon as I can. Yeah. It's you a going. Trust me. Yeah, it's a going. That's pretty much all we can say. Okay, so the... Making sure that this level is... I'm narrowing down the position as to where this problem might be. So, this is all fine right now, so. Moving right along. No, I mean, it's probably in the new area that I just built. I have to restart uh, my editor after this. <laughs> and once I've verified that uh, we can build it, I'll probably move on to another area and start flushing that out. Ooh. Oh, thank you very much, Mickey Wilson. Warning, leak found at minus 4,900. Oops. So, leak somewhere around here. Just gotta find it now. Sir Kane, your question is confusing me. It says, how many models have been created for this so far? Sir Kane is just confusing in general. Stop confusing me, Sir Kane. I told him I told him I made a few. Oh. That's it. Just a few. Just a few. Just a few. No big deal. So oh, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you guys oh sorry. oh sorry I'll give you guys an yeah. idea as to how tight things can be. So when I say things have to be rotated and located correctly, I really mean that because this was this tile here was causing a leak. Even though it looked correct, it was not point not 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 seven five out of position. That was enough to cause a leak. There are currently in this world thirty five hundred tiles. I have to make sure that each and every one of them is not only. Ro uh, located 
at a whole number, but also rotated at a whole number. It can't be 0.999998 to the something. It has to be perfect or it won't work. You're like, like a plumber. Yeah, like this tile here. So I'm not sure how well you can see, but this tile is currently at minus 4799.9355547. That's not, that's not correct. It has to be at 4800 or it won't work. So. And its rotation is 0.000123. That's not correct. And 90.001183. No, not good enough. And now that I've made that change, it just populated everything. So, like, it's it's fiddly work, but it has to be done. But it works. There's no problems here. We move on. Trying to get a sense of the scale of a project like this. Oh yeah, there's, oh, there's so much stuff involved. So much stuff. So right, we're looking good now. I just flatten this now. This surface is facing upwards towards the ceiling. And this surface, uh, there's another surface around here somewhere. So this is walled off. So it's a bit kind of complicated to explain, but um, this area isn't currently part of the world because it's walled off. Um, again, just part of the testing to make sure everything's fine. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, gotta have surprises. Yeah, this is fine. Everything's building correctly. good I'm gradually increasing the point at which the world can be voxelized so but I think I think we should be good now testing again yeah right so if I remove that now delete these two I'm expecting that this should just work there we go. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole thing builds. So this, this entire space is properly sealed. So, hooray! So the player will come here, come up here, have a whole load of new space to explore. Kind of very trippy when it gets to this point. It's like, oh, all the colors. Uh, how will cyberspace play similar to the original? Yes, pretty much. <clears throat> I'll give you. I'll actually do a demo. Let me just quickly save what I've done. Have to save stuff and let it update the source control status. So, subspace will play. It's very. Um, we just got this new art in. Whoa! All right. If I shoot now, the game will crash. So, I shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> but never mind. I just won't shoot. No hands. The, the player speed will probably be a bit quicker than this. Um, 
still getting some things, you know, sorted out. But uh, yeah, I re redid this room with sort of the idea of really kind of messing with the player's head and say, look at all these, you know, ways you can rotate and stuff. And this isn't just a, a flat world. You can actually, you know, fly up and down and explore. Good night, uh, Leo. And yeah, you've got uh, uh, nope, that's not the way to go. So the second area I'm probably going to be doing next. Nope, that's not the right way either. I'm lost in my own cyberspace. Great. There we go. Got some subtle arrows in there. You know, point the player where. Uh, they're supposed to actually go to progress. You can wander off the beaten path if you want, but uh, this is, yep, this is where you actually do go. It's a bit bouncy right now. We're probably gonna even that out. And the end will be up there. I've got a pushing thing that'll push the player towards the end to sort of give them a boost out of cyberspace. But uh... Uh, one moment, please let me reload this map because I'm lagging quite badly now. There we go. I should be fine. Yep, there we go. Uh, just going to see what cleanup I can do though. Um, because I did get some feedback saying it's a bit too busy, you might want to simplify some stuff out a bit. Do we have any more questions? Have I lost people? Oh, uh oh, the voice connection on Discord's being a bit wonky. Hang on, let me see if I can sort this out. Hello, hello, hey. I don't know. Did I? Did Discord? I don't up? know what's happening with Discord right now. All I know is that I was trying to read you a question much earlier, and you didn't hear me, so I thought something must have happened. <laughs> so I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, sorry. What was the question? I don't even remember. It had to do with System Shock Enhanced Edition, so unrelated to this. Ah. Okay. I want to try to keep the questions related to this. Yeah. To be honest, because that's what we're doing, and a lot of these questions being asked, um, I would rather see be around for. Mm hmm. And even then, I'm not sure if we can just. I'm not sure if even he will maybe answer those questions. It's. They're kind of secrets for a reason. You know, there's just some stuff that, you know. You just don't talk about. Four reasons. Yeah. Oops. Oh, no, don't delete that. Yeah, I can see the feedback I got. This is rather busy, actually. It doesn't need to be that busy. These are just simple uh, point lights, but they uh, help create a sort of mood very well if you're in just game mode. Like I say, this is all not final, final stuff, but close to final. Isn't I... it always in game mode because it's a game? Well, <laughs> let's send Kevin to time out. <laughs> Too many jokes. Also, this is so unrelated. I, I'm watching the Fall Guys at Twitter about a 
brands uh, donating money to charity to bid to have their design in game. And um, oh. Tushy Bidet is winning right now. <laughs> their bid is $40,000 and one cent. Ooh. Wow. And it's one. just a shirt for the fall guy. It's a shirt that says, ask me about my butthole. <laughs> that's, that's it. Okay. This Fall Guys community is crazy. I bring it. Bring it. It's a day brand. Expect from a um, Devolver Digital. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to try and do something different with this level. So, with the previous room, I got a lot of kind of. There's a lot of vertical stuff. There's not much diagonal stuff going on. I wonder if I can play with that a bit in this upcoming room. So this room, this room will probably be expanded out. I had to I've had to expand the size of some rooms to accommodate the designs that I wanted while keeping the overall feel of it being the medical cyberspace area. Uh, that mainly comes down to what we're calling the domain links. Um, Dan plays through cyberspace again. I'll post some of my remix to the fan art section. Ooh. Go on, then. <laughs> it doesn't sound like Sandstorm. <laughs> I suppose we all have to be quiet for it, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Go on then, just for you. Woo. Add a camera sprint for some excitement. Thank you. There we go. I wonder how many people I'm making motion sick now. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't look you at it now. <laughs> That's the sad part. It's so cool, but man, I get dizzy. <laughs> When we were doing um, QA for Forsaken, I was getting, I had to take so many breaks. Oh dear, yeah. Right, so this room, I'm probably going to almost completely kind of scrap and rebuild it. Because I want to play with some different things this time. But I need to plan things out ahead quite a bit, so you'll probably see me working in the void for a bit while I plan stuff and see how it fits maybe I'm not sure but I want to see if I can get some other shapes going so I'll probably have to square this room off and do something else this is a bit of a long process I might not get this done in the entire stream but I suppose you guys can see the creative process behind things so I feel like game development could be like just those words right there. It's a <laughs> bit of a long process. <laughs> yes. Very much. Okay. So if I wanted to do some X's as well as some pluses. How would I fit that into this space? That's the entranceway. So one, two, three, four, five along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along. Five by eight. So I'm probably gonna have to, if I want neat lines, I'm probably gonna have to at least increase the size of this room by X amount of tiles. Three. Probably going to group all these main walls together in a minute.
Yeah, I love him. Nope. There it is. Right, do that. Group those. So I can move those much more easily now. So four that way. So if I wanted, I'd probably move the player's entrance point. The player enters the room here, so when they come in at this point, or I might change it so that they come down a bit further and then come up from here, just so that they can get a, an idea of the room ahead. Make this a kind of, maybe another kind of assaulty course kind of thing. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Making an obstacle course. Yeah. Fall Guys is the big game right now. I mean, <laughs> it's fun. It is. I was actually surprised at how much fun I had when I played it the other day yeah. with uh, yeah. the community. I, I like our impromptu Fall Guy sessions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if I want crosses, it can be done. I just need a lot of these 45 wall sides and I need to definitely angle them. Though this helps me work out the overall size of things. So yeah, I want those to be moved over here. All of a sudden, I'm super hungry again. <laughs> I'm hungry for and silent I green. It's been like an hour 15. I'm like, is this when I get snacky halfway through a stream? <sighs> There's questions that I don't know how to answer. Like, how far into development are you? Um, I don't even know how to quantify that as a number. That's like saying how long's a piece of string, really. Um... We're making strides as usual. We're getting there, um, but we can't put we can't really put a percentage on it or any kind of solid marker on things. If that's <laughs> four meters, yeah, we're four meters into development. <laughs> How did Strickland know I was buying ice cream? Uh, I don't know. It's the curse of bad rats. <laughs> the curse of bad rats. Time to make a bad rats mini game. It's shock. <laughs> Just kidding. I never said that. Because I won't do it. You've sown the seeds now. No. I just really hope that a developer of bad rats just one day chimes in, like, is watching the stream. <laughs> it's like, wow, they're talking about my game. <laughs> We're just shitting on it. <laughs> Oh. Done, so, <laughs> all those towels now go whoop, and rotate them. Put them down here. So it really is a case of judging certain distances of things. Gotta got to, got to find middle points everywhere. That's not. I need to do one more. Oh my goodness. If you look at chat, Sir Kane has clipped. He's saying bad rats. <laughs> 
Ah. Now it's gonna live forever. Yeah. <laughs> On live TV. Ah. Ah, no. Come on, select the thing. There we go. So I make one more of... Oops. That distracted me. Oh! Cyberspace Remix has been posted. Oh, thank you very much. It would help if I changed the gizmo. Oh, there we go. From reading the uh, different chit chat in the chat right now, um, I am glad that we have continued to update System Shock Enhance and we're working on System Shock 2 Enhance because a lot of people are experiencing it for the first time uh, before uh, our game comes out. I'm waiting for our game to come out playing the original, so it's exciting. Cool, yeah. Um, that was really fun to work with um our programmer on we got on really well he's a good guy we are lucky to have a lot of the people we have on the team like yeah. everyone's just vibing mm-hmm no select that there we go Okay, that looks fine. Oh yeah, Planet 22K brings up the source port stuff. Yeah, I, I love all like the things people have done with the source port with all their mods and whatnot um i saw somebody had ray tracing to system yeah. shock i was i remember i was literally going to post in the uh community channel just as a joke where's my rtx build of system shock and then i looked in the other chat that we had and somebody had posted a link showing off somebody who had actually put rtx in system shock which just blew my mind it's like wow So yeah, this will look a bit patchy, uh, don't worry about it, they, there's still some art left to come online, but uh, don't worry about it, it's all good. So what's mm -hmm. everyone going to dress up for Halloween? Um, I'd tell you, but then I'd have to kill you on Halloween. Oh no! Halloween's happening this year. <laughs> we have Halloween full time, all the time from home. I ordered new decorations a month ago. I have endless stuff to dress up in because my wardrobe's weird. <laughs> I'm just, just going to vibe. Man, Kevin, you posted that GIF, and I was expecting the music to play. Oh, play it at the same time as the remix. It works. Yeah, perfectly. I meant like the original music, but I'm I'll, I'll click play on this one now. I just I don't know why I thought it would just start playing <laughs> the other music. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry for those who turned up yesterday 
thinking that there was going to be a Resident Evil 4 game stream. I felt awful yesterday, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't do anything. But uh, that should happen. That should resume this week. All right. So got my X. That turned out all right, actually. Is that the new Xbox? That is the new Xbox logo. Somebody, somebody let Phil Spencer know that I have redesigned the Xbox logo. I'm sure we're thrilled. <laughs> it's we're in the vape chamber. <laughs> it just since it's a '90s game, it's just extreme. <laughs> so. Uh, now, after enjoying Mickey's remix and watching that gif, I say, when we have the launch party, it's also uh, a cyber goth dance party. <laughs> no, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> cyber goth dance party. Do I have to dye my hair then? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll dye the orange. The option is to go so bleach that it's like whiter than your skin. Oh. That's acceptable. But then you, you have to come up with your hacker name. Um. Hacker soda. <laughs> um. You can think about it. We we have time. Vectograph eighteen. Whoa. With a K. With a K. Whoa. I don't have a hacker name. I'm not lead enough. <laughs> Someday. It's just Kevin, but instead of you know, it, an I, it's a one. <laughs> three and seven e. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> oh no! So I'm selecting them all again because I want to group them because I want to see <clears throat> what other things I can do with this shape. Maybe I could put it on the walls. Maybe I could do something different. I don't know. Cup Sona? What? Cup Sona? Oh my god. What is that like? The character from Cuphead? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was at my mom's house looking at old photos uh, over the weekend. Yeah. And I was looking at old Halloween photos from elementary school because this for a, for a brief moment I went to an elementary school that would do a Halloween parade for every classroom. Oh yeah. And I was looking at this one picture and next to me are two boys dressed basically like they're from the Matrix with the slicked back hair, sunglasses, leather coats and everything but they're little kids. No. Oh. I couldn't get over it. I should have taken. Did I take a picture of it? If I did, I'm gonna clip out these boys and show you guys. <laughs> have you ever seen that news? Um, it's like a news uh, reporter, and it's for the premiere of The Matrix Reloaded. Oh yes, I I know which clip you're talking about. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love if the someone Sentinel. Can find that and put it on the stream chat and links. I would be happy. Oh my goodness, selecting this is so difficult and fiddly, come on. Damn, I didn't take a picture of that picture. I should have. I was cracking up. Select the thing. Alright, there we go. Trust me, when I get to group this, it'll all be worth it. Come on. There we go. Ooh, that's everything. No, except for those bits. 
second link I posted is better because it's shorter. <laughs> You and you. Any more I've missed? Yes. You and you. All right, I put it in the stream chat and links uh, section of Discord. Yeah, it needs a little a little more JPEG, but yeah. Yeah, a little more. <laughs> it's from like I can see it too clearly. I don't know. I know Sir Kane's like, got any more pixels. Hooray! Just a few more. That's the entirety of that X selected. So, now, we're back. Control G. And I can do whatever I want with it really quickly. So that's good. Oh, Kilgore is in chat. Sorry, I was looking away for <laughs> dumb, Hello. dumb videos. Yeah, got that Spyro soundtrack on. Because that won't get me in trouble with YouTube. I think I know what a JPEG is. <laughs> I just wanted a gosh damn picture of a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done my Bobby Hill impression. On I stream, need to hear it. I still won't. I still I want so to bad. hear it. Dang it, Bobby Hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so bad. Mother of God, it's all toilet sounds. Where did you record this? That's mine. That's my impression. That boy, I'm right. That's a pretty good Hank Hill. The it thing was, about my Bobby Hill is it's on, it's bad on purpose. Everyone says I can do a good Rick impression. God damn it, Morty! You need to get out of here, Morty. You need to, you need to go. I can do a really good Morty, but I don't I don't want to wake up everybody in my house. <laughs> oh my god! It's loud. So yeah, maybe maybe another stream. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's saying Steven. <laughs> it just seems to be my dog. Okay, so next shape is it a Y? It is not. Although. That gives me that that could be used in the future. Thanks for the idea. I'll take that. Yeah. Stolen. Said. Yeah, stolen. Thank you. Yeah. I would say Z, but I know you guys say Z over there. So what about a Z? Z. That's another shape that could be used. Although Z it... top. Thankfully, this one was really quite easy. Any more questions? Said talk. Uh, let me scroll back up. I don't, I don't think so. Um, if there are any new questions, um, make sure to tag us at Night Dive so we can see them. What's your favorite movie? Mickey wants to know. Oh. 
well. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards for you? Okay, Dan, what's yours? Ooh. Don't really know if I have a favorite. Um, hard decision to make. Yeah, it depends on what genre I'm in the mood for at the time, I guess. Although I did really... I did really, really, really like... Um, Terminator 2. Yeah. I really did like that one when I saw it. I was like, oh, I could just watch that again straight away. It was so good. And I saw it very recently for the first time. I'm terrible with movies, but you guys know that. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a little bit slow to watch them, but you do enjoy it. Yeah, and I tend to enjoy, well, pretty much anything that gets put under my nose almost if I'm in the mood for it. Um... I don't know if I can pick a favorite movie. I kind of have a three-way tie, and they're all animated. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch, The Last Unicorn, and Howl's Moving Castle. Hell's Moving Castle? Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, ha- oh right. Those three movies are my favorite for sure. Like, favorite those three that I watch over and over again, and I watch them before bed a lot. There's more questions now that we've asked for questions. <laughs> I, re- I re- opened the floodgates. Yeah, Plan in 23K, your question's a three-parter. So it, I, it might be easier to split them up. I'm not sure. I'm going to read through it, um, but I'm going to start with Shark of Goods. Uh, what's your favorite muffin while I dissect Planet's uh, question? So pick your favorite muffin. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Mine would be like a coffee cake muffin. You know, with like a good crumble on top. Mmm. So, Planet 23K's thing is um, more so the movement and gameplay related stuff to cyberspace. And how it's going to work yeah um though i feel like it could potentially be more of a question that we would want our programmer to answer probably uh we don't have the technical details of that stuff that's a programmer question but it depends yeah. on if he would ever want to come in here or not i don't think he's very uh, wanting to We've do stream stuff in one time yeah so sorry guys i don't have an answer for you on that Though the one time we did pull it in, him in, it was during the E3 one many years ago. That was a lot of fun. He was oh, yeah. displaying his screen programming while we were all chatting about E3. Yeah. I liked that one. Remember E3? <laughs> Remember conventions? Remember going outside? Hey, I went outside. Lucky. Wait, what's outside? Is that like a new video game? Or? It's a, it's this room with a really tall ceiling. Is it the people inside? <laughs> Possibly. I'm down. Sounds cool. I heard, uh, it, I heard I got a 7.5 for too much water. <laughs> oh my god. Reduce that for the Give amount of geese, the, geese there are out there. Technimage asks, what elements have been the most interesting to adapt? Uh, in regards to any specific part? Just any, like, interest for the game in general. What's You can pick whatever one you want. What has been the most interesting to adapt? Probably cyberspace. That's a good question for you because you've been building. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. Pro- probably cyberspace because this has been, like, I've basically had to take everything I've known up to this point about how, well, not not everything up to this point, but like everything that we've kind of worked on on Shock and completely kind of flip it the other way around. Like, so the worlds in Shock are really detailed and there's lots of, you know, intricate kind of shapes to them. This is very, not basic, but it's very kind of streamlined. Um, I've got to think in six dimensions almost. Like, because, you know, the player can fly up and turn and do all this. It's completely kind of thrown me and made and made me have to really think about how to get around this challenge for myself. So 
I would I would definitely say this. That's this been one of the more recent things, yeah. That seems fun. It's it's definitely yeah. the longest time coming. It took so yeah. much talk and planning. It really did. I liked uh I liked making the pickups a lot. Because I was literally working off the 1994 icons. <laughs> <laughs> and some concept art, but a lot of it was trying to make it still match. That was cool. We have a question about minimum system specs for this. Uh, that's also a question I won't be able to answer right now, or I don't think any of us will be able to answer right we now. We can't really answer that now. There are some questions that we genuinely don't have answers to. There are others that we might know the answers to, but can't really say due to reasons, but that one we just genuinely don't know. Uh -huh. Planet 23K is telling you to check out anything by How Miyazaki, and trust me, I've literally watched every single Ghibli film. <laughs> the only one I haven't watched is a somewhat newer one, the uh, When Marnie Is There, um, just because I haven't gotten around to it yet. The one he came out of retirement for for the fifth time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like the I love when he comes out of retirement. Of <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to Agretsuko 3. Oh man, more Agretsuko? That'd be amazing. Series 3. I remember three. when it was just a mini web series that were short form. And yeah. now, I, when they adapted it, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. When does Series 3 start? Who knows? I'll have to Google. I have no idea. I've not been keeping track. Cowboy Bebop live action. <laughs> they already confirmed a season two, and I'm like, wait, is there a season one out already? I didn't even think that was out yet. <laughs> not. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm like, how can you confirm a season two when you haven't even given a season one? <laughs> Just that good. Crazy. I'm gonna shifty all this out, because the lines are confusing me at the moment. So I'm shifting everything. Eddie from Outer Space is asking if I have seen, or anyone, I guess. I, it wasn't directed necessarily at me. Uh, your name? And yeah, I have seen your name. Um, it's That movie is basically uh, five centimeters per second, isn't it? It's like the same movie. It's not the same, but it's it's same guy and like basically the same concept. So now that I've got these out of the world, it's time for some top down view. Idea from outer space, uh, the five centimeters per second is his original one, your name is his newer version of it, essentially. And I guess it, it's not accurate to say it's the same thing, but it basically is. Uh, RF401's asking if any of us have played uh, any of the Freebird games like To the Moon and or Finding Paradise. Freebird games. Good, though. Um, I haven't played to the moon. I I do own it and I want to play it. Just there's so many games, but I've never played um, or I, and I don't own Finding Paradise. Uh, I can't say I've played any of their games. I'm afraid. Sorry. But, I uh, own two of their games, I just noticed, but I haven't played them yet. It's hard to find the time. Meanwhile, I'm going to go play Mirror's Edge for the 20th time. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to keep playing Animal Crossing and Fall Guys, apparently. Meanwhile, I'm going to go back to System Shock 2. <laughs> and the Talus Principle, I've been playing that a lot. Because uh, I had the puzzles, but oh my god, the DLC is so difficult. We're just creatures of habit. Yeah, once you find the the subway sandwich that you like, you tend to stick to it. Or at least that's me anyway. It's the same with games. <laughs> I 
Oh, the sandwich makers are available. Video games are overrated, right? Video games. Group them. Okay, so. I don't just want the X's and the crosses, though. I want to join them onto the world. Oh. So, okay, let's see how crazy. I can do that. Sorry? Now you're just getting crazy. Well, I've got the time, so I might as well do the crime. I think you'll be able to answer this properly uh, at this point. Um, Eddie from Outer Space asks, will you be semi-forced to follow the tunnels like the original cyberspace, or is it a roam free? Uh, you are pushed along via a um, uh, spline and volume system. You, I, it needs adjusting, but um, it moves the same way as cyberspace, yes. Those are, oops. If those are gonna be diagonal, then I'll need possibly flat shapes to join them onto the world. Wow, we're going for nearly two hours already. Whew, that flew by. I know. 15 minutes left of the stream, if you have the energy for it. Oh, yeah. Certainly do. So I'll probably join them onto the world like this. So I'll probably play with it and see if I can make it feel a bit better. Gotta make sure they're all facing the right direction, yep. Any more questions? Um, there is one more question. Uh, will there be uh, backtracking through Citadel Station to different levels, or when you move to a level, we stay there until you've lowered security? Uh, you are. You will be free to explore the station just like the original. We're not limiting you on where you can go back to. If you've opened it, you should be able to go back to it unless there's a story specific reason, which in the original there weren't many of, so we're sticking pretty much to the original on that one. So back to top down. Move that over there. Ungroup them, because I can easily slap them in the top down again. And let's try something different on this one. So, oops. Let's try, let's get our ramps in there and let's make some little conjoiny shapes. Let's make it uh, look as if it's attached to the wall a bit better.
Am I excited for the... Are we, are we excited for the Matrix 4? We're living in it. Yep. Uh, I will be if every single one of the cast learns how to act. Because I, nah, I could have I sworn I could have, I could have sworn that most of the Matrix films were just acted out by planks of wood. <laughs> I like the Matrix movies. I like all Me of them. Me too. I can already sense the I hate don't coming care. in. I just like it. I can already sense the hate coming in. Sorry, guys, but I really think the Matrix was quite poorly acted. But oh no, there's a there's a lot of people that think. That. <laughs> You are not the only one. Good. I think they are as well, but you know what? I still like them. My opinions are my own and, no, and in no way represent Nighttime Studios or its employees. But yeah. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Wouldn't the woodiest films by far be uh, Toy Story? <laughs> ba -dum -bum. Ba -dum -bum. Yeah, it just it never rang well with me. Like, people said, oh, like Neo and what's the name? They've got so much chemistry together and they're so lovers. And I'm like, really? They had one conversation and they, <laughs> they seemed so bored while having that conversation. I didn't really cast them as being, you know, fallen in love. It didn't really seem like it, but eh, I'll probably watch the film. I I don't know. That's like 99.9% .9 of any movie with love interests. <laughs> we had one conversation. We're in love now. It also <laughs> has a remix of uh, Dracula in it, so it's just good just by that alone. Oh, we have a question that maybe you can, or both of you could probably um answer what tools would you recommend for people looking into making games of their own blender unreal unity um yeah those are the those are the only three you really need unless kevin i'm missing some i mean if you if if you just want to do it as like a hobby or for free then yeah those are your choices but of course there's paid software that's Pretty good, like Substance Painter. Like, are you? But this is mostly thinking about it, and I guess in an art perspective, like if you want to program like C plus plus, and I don't know what other language would be best for um, both Unity <sighs> and Unreal. C sharp. Oh yeah, C sharp. Um, C doesn't help. Sorry, C, C doesn't hurt. Just to know it, kind of thing. Um, brush is a little pricey. Maybe even, maybe even D. That is a language that um, is out there that you can learn. You know, you have many options. Um, for art, you can get GIMP. You can get Critter. Um, you can get um, yeah. Those are the those are the ones. Someone okay. said to remember to back up your projects, and it's like, just save often. That's... That reminds me, I should save now, actually. <laughs> yes. Oh my right God. Now. Especially since we're about to hit two hours, it would be a shame. It not would. To save right now. The best is when you forget to save, and then everything crashes, and you lost three hours of work. Yeah, yeah, that happened, that happened yeah. to me, uh, not the last Friday, but the last Friday before. I was just like, I'm, ra I'm writing today off. Last Friday was such a bad day. I'm just like, I'm writing today yeah. off. I uh, I crashed the brush the other day and I was like, all right. <laughs> I just like, I just like set down my pen on my tablet and just got up. <laughs> it's fine. So I might join these actually. Oh, yeah. See, once you kind of get the ball rolling with these ideas, they just kind of extend. I could I could join these together quite easily with some tiles to uh, give it a central pillar kind of thing. That'd look cool. Something the player has to fly around, I guess. That'd work. Oh, 
Oh man, the chat's getting into like matrix theories. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fifth Element, that's a movie. I like the Fifth, fifth Element. It's definitely a movie. Oh, yeah, it's good. I feel like I do rewatch it maybe every few months. I should know. A regular rewatch. I don't like squares. I'm not going to go with squares what? for that. I'm not going to go with squares for this. I'm going to try something else. But it's hip to be square. Maybe. My friend Huey Lewis told me that. <laughs> I had District, District 9 is also fan. really good. The movie's great. Everybody's a District 9 fan. If you're not, then you're wrong. Oh, sorry. There's noise in the office. Oh, the Steam store is down. No. I just noticed that. Guess I'll just play Factorio. <laughs> Oops. There was talk of a District 9 sequel. I feel like there's been talk of a District 9 sequel for like 10 years now. District 9 2. Yeah. District 10. Shit. No, District 11, can't you add? <laughs> the search for District 10. <laughs> I should have done this for the other rooms. I should have built things outside. Far easier. We have about five minutes left. Does anyone have any last minute questions? So many little tiny bits and bobs to adjust on this, but I think I could come up with something cool. I have not been given an iron chat. Down again. Um, it's looking like the British I flag a little bit, actually. Oh, sorry. If anyone's seen the movie, uh, and this is totally not related, but the movie we see because we're talking about movies. I haven't seen it. Which film? Sorry. Lucy by uh, I guess it would pronounce Luck or Luke Besson. No. Yeah, it has Scarlett Johansson in it, but I have not seen it.
Isn't that... Is that the one where she's... Everyone complained because... She's basically a USB drive at the end? <laughs> what? Is that potential no, spoilers no there? I've never seen it. Is that potential spoilers there? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not spoiling like anything because I've never seen it. You know, she's just a phone that someone falls in love with? Like... <laughs> That's the one. Okay, perfect. I've never seen it. I just heard about that, and I was like, "That sounds hilarious." Uh, Struckbird uh, one four six two five asked Echo if this is a question you don't know or you can't answer, but will the Cortex Reaver death scene return from the original? Uh, we have plans. We have ideas, but uh, secret for now. Kilgore is asking if I was talking about the movie Her, and I was. That movie is both, it makes me feel awkward, but it, I, it was a good movie. I just feel really awkward when I watched it. It was like, I don't know. I It's just a me thing. I felt very awkward. Oh. One. Three, four, okay. Apparently Lucy is Luke Besson's version of Akira. Well, I like Akira. Man, you know what I've been wanting to do is rewatch the newer uh, Double Man Crybaby. I rewatched it like four or five times now. I love that show. I really tried. I love it so much. It's so good. A friend was talking to me the day about some program that ends with the word spice. Um, what? Dune? Guardian Spice <laughs> something? What? It's an anime. Oh, an anime. Yeah, ending spice, spice. Spice? Yeah, guts, it ends in the word spice. It's got like a long oh, name. Do you mean... I, I, oh, I don't know when that ends in spice. I almost thought you were going to say spice and wolf. <laughs> I was like, what? Have I flummoxed you? Do you not know of this anime that of which I speak? I mean, there's a lot of animes with the word spice in it. So oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Guardian Spice or something. I don't, I'm not sure. We were talking about that the other day. 40 Spice. Scary Spice. Scary <laughs> <80 spice. laughs> <laughs> Ah, just shut up. Guardian, Guardian Spice or High Guardian Spice, what I'm seeing, I think it's not an anime anime. Oh. If I, I don't, it's a, it's technically Western, so it's not Japanese made. But then that goes down to the argument: does it have to be Japanese to be anime? Which brings up Avatar: The Last Airbender, which is just a whole discussion in itself. I guess. I really so. like the movie Ex Machina too. That's a good one. It's not like I didn't like her; it just made me feel awkward. <laughs> Tekken Kincrete's a cool movie. Oh yeah, oh man, that's a throwback. I think I've got an interesting kind of flow and shape going here. Planet 23K just said Cowboy Bebop, enough said, if you like Cowboy Bebop, you should watch Megalobox. Or Space Megalobox Dandy. Megalobox came out. Oh, Space Dandy. Space Dandy is much more goofy, whereas Megalobox is along more of the same vibes of Cowboy Bebop. And Megalobox came out, I want to say, three years ago? I'll link it in the chat. We have, This is why we have Anime Club on our Discord. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are in Antin, I just... If you guys are not in our Discord, you should join our Discord. Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is my favorite Spice Girl. <laughs> Spike Spice. That works. Spike Spice. 
Just I'm a, a seasonal anime watcher for the most part. Um, so I've, I've seen a lot of anime. I've seen Beastars. That's okay. The one I most look forward to is Agretsuko. I lost the chat again. Kudatama for nope, days. Nope. I love the upbeat theme song to uh, B Stars. It's kind of jiving. Kind of I cool. will say, I have not finished watching it, but Evangelion has one of the greatest theme songs I've ever heard. Evangelion? But, yeah, What's that about? Yeah. I don't know. Robots and kids piloting robots. <laughs> but they're not really robots. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, but Cowboy Bebop still has the best music of any show. Followed by Samurai Champloo. I've heard things about... Edit. You can't really avoid the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure memes. Yeah, I should watch that. I have a few friends that are, like, obsessed with it. Please tell me that's the whole of that selected. Awesome. I was just saying how the uh, the intro to Beastars is so upbeat and happy. It's really oh, nice. Oh man, I love the JoJo, and I'm all about the JoJo's. You'll have to repeat that. Sorry, you broke up a fair bit. Damn it. Okay, it Discord chat is ultimate garbage today. <laughs> Speaking of great theme songs. Oh my god, this one. Uh -huh. What is it? It's, uh, propane. <laughs> <laughs> propane Genesis. Bleh, I can't even say it without laughing. Propane Genesis Evangelion, King of <laughs> Hill, anime OP. <laughs> Have you ever watched King of the Hill in Japanese? <laughs> no, but I want to now. It feels like a really obscure anime. It's great. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. This kind of setup. This feels as if it looks nice. Um, in the level have some more enemies in here you've got to get around these yeah you know, these sections and you've got to work your way up that feels it like it could be fun I hope please clap uh, any more questions um, no, not, no, um, Molting, eh? it's not really, nothing, uh, new, just lots of chit chat, um, but we are yeah, past the two hour mark. Like kind of, uh, yeah, I will begin winding down quite shortly. If you guys have any final questions, now's the time. I also posted up the Discord link for those who aren't in there. It's discord.com slash invite slash night dive studios. So this will be the base, yeah. This seems fine. I might start cooking dinner early tonight, because wowee. Okay. 
Okay, right, well, I guess I'm going to call it there. So there may be more of this as I move on to other cyberspace levels. But uh, so. you've, gotten a good, you've gotten a good view of what has been and uh, what will be to come when it comes to this. So uh, we're, getting, we're getting everything sorted out. I might make that a uh, desktop wallpaper at some point. That's actually kind of cool. Neon MC Usher. <laughs> yeah. My favorite rapper. <laughs> My favorite rapper is one round uh, chocolate bars. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, if there are no more questions. We will wrap things up. So, did you say if thou aren't anymore? I don't know, all Shakespearean. You might have to say that again. Damn it. <laughs> nah. I'm, we're, we're losing, we're losing people. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. So, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you're interested in seeing development things, be sure to join our Discord. We're all in there. Um, follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all that malarkey. It's all good. And uh, yeah, I was glad to do this again. And hopefully there'll be a stream on Sunday for more Resident Evil 4. So that's and all good. <laughs> then you'll play it. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, well I, I like when you stream Resident Evil games and I stream it right after you. <laughs> one. Did you play Resident Evil 3? No, I didn't do the 3 one. Uh, I, I haven't picked it up. I right. did, you know, the other right after, well, during about the same time as you, I think. So I sort of got that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, yeah, we're, we'll we're we're scrapping this. Dis Discord's turning to mush, <laughs> voice chat wise. So, yeah. uh, thanks, guys. Um, take care, take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. So, take care, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye.